Once again, a very interested spectator. He knows the camera's on him, of course, so he gets up and goes into one of his antics. Hector Camacho asking what time is it? And, of course, the fans reply, Chavez time. You know what really frightens me? I have two pair of the same sunglasses. <laughs> Winner by way of technical, technical knockout, he is still undefeated, still the WBC super lightweight champion, Julio Cesar Chavez. So there you have it. Julio Cesar Chavez, side by side now with the Macho Man. And he can lay to rest Frankie Mitchell and now set his sights on the... Big showdown in September with the Macho Man, Hector Camacho. Here's sellout crowd here of around 9,000 at the Hilton Center in the Las Vegas Hilton. We saw some outstanding action here tonight. Particularly the Julian Jackson-Thomas Tate fight, but right now we've got... The dignitary standing by in the ring with Steve Farhood. Steve? Thank you, Steve. Julio Cesar Chavez, another tremendous win. Gladys Sarosa, can you ask him, when he knocked Mitchell out, Mitchell turned southpaw, and he landed a big right hand. Was that a message to Hector Camacho? Que cuando eh, te dio, cuando tú no quedaste a Frankie Mitchell, él se convirtió en, en zurdo. Que si eso fue, te convertiste en zurdo. Que si eso fue un mensaje para Camacho. Es un mensaje para Camacho, que con los zurdos puedo. Cuando se me cambió de zurdo fue cuando me sentí mejor. That definitely, that's a message to Hector Camacho that he wants to let him know that he can deal with a southpaw. It's just uh, a few weeks, uh, six weeks to the big showdown with Hector Camacho. Given what happened tonight, how does uh, Julio Cesar Chavez feel about it? Queda seis semanas para la pelea grande de Camacho. Y tú, cómo te sientes ahorita mismo? Muy bien, dile. Esta preparación sigue y va encaminada Camacho. He says he feels very good, his conditioning will continue, he will be training hard, and he'll be looking forward to Camacho in September. Did any, did the fact that Hector Camacho scored a knockout tonight, did that impress Julio? Como Hector tuvo un knockout sobre su oponente, ¿eso te impresionó alguno? De ninguna manera, voy a noquear a Camacho el 12 de septiembre. He says he was not impressed at all, he's going to knock out Hector Camacho. That's all right, let's bring in Don King, the promoter of the big September 12th showdown. What do you think what happened tonight uh, will do for that show? I think it's going to be great. First of all, I want to say thanks to Tony Cox. Showtime is now number one in boxing, unquestionably. These kind of fights, co quality, competitiveness is what makes Showtime number one. And now we got the biggest fight of all, the two titans, the ultimate glory, the fight for it all, with Hector Camacho and Julio Cesar Chavez, September the 12th, and tickets on sale now, and they're already going briskly. Don, you seem to think that Hector can turn it around, as he did tonight, but against Julio, it'll be a little tougher. You seem to think he can turn it around and give Julio a real good fight. What you have now is Hector Camacho of old. You're seeing reflections of what he used to be, and now he's back training very hard, getting ready to fight, and you saw that today with the flashbacks, the way he fought this kid and he knocked him out. I think it was a tremendous outing, so it lets the fans know that they got a great fight in store for them, and that's what really counts giving them the quality, so SET and King Vision is going to put it on on September the 12th, and it's going to be great. Ultimate glory, the fight for it all, the whole enchilada. Tom, where do you go from here? I'm going to Frito-Lay and find Roger and Rico because this is a great promotion, and Frito-Lay has to be involved. So, Roger, I'll be coming to see you. Roger and Rico, y'all. All right, Hector Camacho. Esperemos que no corra más Camacho. He hopes that Hector Camacho will not run away anymore. All right, we're not going to let Hector run away right now. Hector, come on in here. You were sitting right next to me during the fight. You saw Julio's work. What'd you think? Well, professional speaking, a boxer like me, that's all it takes to beat him. I got the jab to keep him off, the one, two to hurt him. I got the speed, the movement, the lateral movement to keep him off balance all day. He'll find me all day. It's a repeat of the Ramirez fight. But this is the ultimate glory for me, because y'all don't want to see the man do it. I am the Michael Jackson of the 90s. Yes! I almost knocked you out with the microphone there. I'm sorry, Hector. Hector, 
This is your camera right here, Hector. Based on the battle. You fought, Hector, you fought, you fought very aggressively tonight against Eddie Van Kirk. Of course, that's not Julio Cesar Chavez. What kind of game plan can we look at when you fight the great Julio Cesar Chavez? Well, you can see the same game plan that you've seen today, but more stronger, more effective, more professional, and more mastered. I am a scientific fighter. I needed a family. We got a family. He's a family, too. But he's bringing out the best out of me. I needed somebody like him. I'm not scared. I'm just scared to lose. All right. Well, there you go. Good luck to both of these guys. They're ready to go, and they'll be going on September 12th. We're going to be going right back now to Steve Albert at ringside. All right, Steve. You deserve the Medal of Honor for putting up with that.